sweet. <laughs> My baby. Oh. Did your face all swell oh, up and everything? Here. Did your face swell up? No, actually, it was, it was, I mean, it, it sounds off. It's all that whispering going on in the corner there. No whispering, right. no, no secrets. Whispering. <laughs> okay. Tell you everything when you're finished. All right, we're ready. Well, Jennifer, excuse me. Got without a focus plan yet. Pretty sick. Oh, the plan is I'll put it back on the two Okay. Your own. Well, Jennifer, I feel a kinship with you, excuse although. <laughs> you got oh, that hair hot. sticking out. Yeah, and it looked funny. Okay. That's better. Thanks. That's good. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> you rolling? Rolling. Okay. Well, as I was saying, Jennifer, I feel a kinship with you, even though I've just met you, because my maiden name was Connolly. Oh, really? Yes, but yeah. spelled O L L Y instead of E L L Y. A lot of people make make that mistake, actually, with me. So you are of an of Irish ancestry, then? Way back, way back there, yeah. Um, my my father's side of the family, obviously, um, from uh, I'm not sure exactly from where though, but but my grandparents were were both born here in in this country. So, have you ever been to Ireland? No, I haven't. I haven't. I'd like to. I'd love to actually. I'd love to go ride horses across the countryside. You know, do something idyllic like that. <laughs> That's the place to do it. Place to do it. And with your Irish name, you can have anything you want. <laughs> I'd, I'd get by. <laughs> no one would notice anything odd. <laughs> If you have even the slightest bit of Irish, you know you're just a, an instant friend with all the, the people there. But let's talk about The Rocketeer. Now, this is set in 1938. Mm -hmm. So for you, having to go back in time like that, Jennifer, what was it like for you? Um, well, it was, it was wonderful. The, um, you know, I got to romp around in these beautiful sets. Um, and uh, the cars and, and the old planes were really wonderful for me to see. Um, and uh, the dialogue was really fun because it was really influenced by that, that era. You know, there's some really odd sort of outdated phrases that don't really, <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't hear most people speaking like that nowadays. Um, it was fun. It was a really fun era, you know, I think. Which of the phrases struck you as being odd? Oh, I don't know. I actually didn't have all that much strange dialogue. It was more, more. Bill had some, had some pretty funny things, and I remember Alan's character. Do you remember any, any funny, uh, oh, yeah. any strange lines? I always blank. Yeah, you're full of it, Bob. She's way out of town by now. <laughs> yeah, you're full of it, Bob. She's way out of town by now. Um, I mean, just silly stuff like that. What about your costumes? Um, well, I, I wore more or less just one through most of the movie. Um, this white, this white gown. Um. And then your actress costumes, of course. And then, right, I, I love that, I love doing that scene, the Robin Hood scene. <laughs> but that was hysterical. I had a great time. Did you get to do any of the uh, flying? Did you actually fly any? Actually, um, I would be the first one to jump at it if if I could, but my character doesn't doesn't really fly in the movie. Um, there's a scene running on top of a of a zeppelin, and uh, that I did. Um, but other than that, there there really weren't any um, any stunts for me to do. I stay stay on the ground. <laughs> Jennifer, what is your background in acting? Now you made one film a long time ago, isn't that right? Um, I made one, f my first film was a long time ago, I was 12, it was called Once Upon a Time in America, and um, then I think I made, made uh, seven others between that one and this one, so this was my ninth. Most of them though, I think, and no one around here would have, <laughs> would have seen, you know, or heard of. Once Upon a Time in America, what, which character did you play? I played uh, Elizabeth McGovern's Elizabeth McGovern as a as a young girl. The character's name was Deborah. She was sort of dancing in the in the flower sacks while De Niro's character watched her. Flashback sequences. You were very young when you did that. Was mm -hmm. that um, uh, was that a good experience for you or? Uh... It was it was a wonderful experience. You know, I, I had gone into into the movie thinking that this was something that I would try, but I was so young. I mean, you know. 
it was a movie, I was excited, it was a great director, and it was a new idea for me to do this. Um, but when I, when I worked with Sergio and, and got over there and I was in Italy and I'd never, I'd never been there before and the crew and the camera and, and I, got, I got to do this and it was just so interesting to me, um, I fell in love with it. I, I said, God, what a, what a great job to have, you know, how wonderful it would be if I could continue doing this. So. And so you're continuing so to I'm do it. So I'm continuing. If this were to become a series, would you be happy to stay with it? A series? Uh -huh. I mean, like, like a bunch well, of sequels? Well, I mean, like, uh, you know, like Superman 1, 2, and 3. You know, if this, if this became Rocketeer 1, 2, 3, would you be happy to stay with it? Um, well, they, they did talk to us about the possibility of, of doing sequels before we, um, before we agreed to do the movie. Um, I know that, that it, was, it was in my contract to do one, should they decide that they want to. Um, it, it, I, I would be happy to do that that one sequel if, um, especially if the whole gang were back together, you know, if Joe were directing it and Bill were there and Alan and, you know, that would be fun. Well, I would think the chances of a sequel would be very good. People, from people the keep saying that. I don't I, I hope, I, I don't know, I just hope the first one, people like the first one and then we'll see what happens. Okay. Well, Jennifer, thank you for coming to Dallas. It's nice meeting you and talking with you. Thanks. Okay. Very nice.